all we in bangkok thailand day two let's go day two is all about buddhist temples we are hop skipping and jumping to about four now for those of you who don't know thailand's main religion is buddhism so there are thousands of temples scattered all over the country and it's definitely something a lot of people travel to thailand to see now we completely locked up because through a connection of mine dizzy b sports and tours big up yourself uh, chris who introduced us to justin he's been living on this side of the world for over six took years took us all over to a bunch see. of temples which he said are so much less popular than the major but ones but just as beautiful so the first one was golden mount which you have to pay to enter when into. you first enter you keep hearing this noise but when you walk up the steps you see that they have these bunch of bells which apparently you gotta ring them all one after the other and it will bring you good luck and blessings so seemingly i ring it all of them see it felt very interactive and they also had this gong which again if you hit three times blessings and luck of these tiny little steps and then you get to the top where you have different sections to many different buddhas that people pray to for specific and different points where you have to take off your shoes in order to access them one of the highlights about this temple is when you get to the top you can see this amazing view of bangkok city it looks never ending man after that we made our way down said hello to this golden buddha statue Hi. walked past this river which i learned snakes all throughout the city then caught the train to temple number two which has this gigantic golden buddha seriously you can spot it from so far away. but again apparently it's not one of the more popular ones i mean look at this look at this after snapping some pictures we headed into the building just behind of it to look at a few artifacts which are probably hundreds if not thousands of years old this is just my guess but i really need to go back and do an official tour the highlight of this section was when you got to the top floor you, you saw this ceiling which makes you go Ooh, ah y'all can't believe this is all hand painted me said tall man this person have skills this is not wallpaper this no. is not picture plaster somebody take that hand and stroke paint for every last bit of things me. like this me can't believe and i'm always grateful to have witnessed after this stop though we were hungry so our friend justin took us to china town which was super busy but wasn't as busy as it normally is because nighttime apparently does we up. got some food and even got to try some freshly squeezed pomegranate juice look on the size of them pomegranate after day. our bellies were filled we walked past this temple but we didn't go inside because we still had to catch another train and walk to reach the last temple let me tell y'all if it's one thing we did is get our steps in that eventually day. got to this large river section where they use these boats as water taxis up and down to get around the city and then made it to our last temple of the day. now this buddhist temple is actually one of the most popular ones in bangkok that people and see and it's easy to see why it's huge the detail on these structures is magnificent they're so colorful and it just makes you think who built these and how did y'all do this again next time i have to sign up for an official tour so i can give you all a bit more detail after roaming around a bit more more you really get into the mood of things and so i took some time to just take a moment to appreciate all the things that i was witnessing this now day. just before we left we went to check out the main attraction of this temple which is the reclining buddha y'all it is this gigantic structure that is really just a marvel to look at somebody tell me how big it is please no? don't be fooled this place was jump up, jump up and ram up like lions it's me. like everybody in bangkok came to see this statue okay i overdue but it was lots of people so just brace yourself if you're going when in. you walk out i noticed that a lot of people were giving money in exchange for small pennies to drop into these buckets and turns out if you do that again it's good now luck. if it's one thing i appreciated about the day was just seeing and appreciating another country's culture and religion in its own thank form. you so much to justin for taking us around chris from form management group the introduction zora bartley from dizzy b sports and for the Tour. Connect. comment and let me know if you all enjoyed this video and if you want me to visit more temples see y'all on day three bye